Miami Heat Courtside is sponsored by Opera Tower. I'm Israel Gutierrez, and this is Miami Heat Courtside. This process that Heat coach Eric Spolster and his players have talked about since the start of the season, no one knew that this is what it meant. The Heat was expected to shoot out of the gates like a rocket because the team has the most talented trio in basketball. Instead, the Heat has crawled out of the starting gates and has yet to pick up speed. The frustration reached its peak with a demoralizing loss to the Celtics on Thursday. It was the Heat's second straight loss, and it put the team's early record against winning teams at a paltry 1-4, the only win coming against Orlando. Given how much attention this team has gotten since LeBron James chose to play in Miami, this is probably the most over-examined 5-4 start in league history. But even LeBron James said this process has been frustrating. It seems the big three can't get on the same page for long enough to be the dominant team it wants to be. Against the Celtics, James went for 35 points and 10 rebounds and 9 assists. But Dwayne Wade was a relative non-factor with 8 points, and Chris Bosh was, once again, not involved enough to make a big impact. Wade and LeBron have yet to play off each other well. Instead, both of them are taking turns being the primary playmaker. Bosch is limited to a handful of plays a night where he gets the ball in the post, and that's not allowing him to get into any offensive rhythm. It's different here, you know. Uh, I'm not going to get the ball in, is in the positions that I used to get it in, and, and if I do, it's a little bit limited because we have to share the wealth a little bit more. But um, I just have to be aggressive, just being aggressive and crashing the boards more, and, and I have to get that in my mind. And, um, the past few games that I have, or the past couple of games that I've got in my mind, uh, it's, it's been a little bit better. So I just have to be solid um, in my thinking and, and my thought process during the game and just, just stay focused and stay concentrated and, and keep playing hard. And he's not used to playing without the ball enough to be an impact player simply by rebounding and defending. Even Heat coach Eric Spolster is having issues deciding who's in his rotation and when. Starters Joel Anthony and Carlos Arroyo don't play starters-type minutes, and against the Celtics, both James and Wade played north of 40 minutes, which is a few too many at this early stage of the season. It's unclear what exactly needs to be done, but it's clear that a lot needs fixing. And given how much scrutiny this team is going to face with every single loss, Spolster needs to figure it out pretty soon, before the noise around him and his team gets too loud to handle. For the Miami Herald, I'm Israel Gutierrez. Soaring 60 stories above Miami skyline is one of the world's most unique hotels, Opera Tower Suites and Marina. Opera Tower offers three distinct ways to experience unparalleled luxury. In addition, a vast array of resort-caliber amenities, including an oversized heated pool with Whirlpool Spa, fully equipped fitness center with aerobics room, million-dollar views, and a location that is unsurpassed for work or play. Miami's ultimate hotel and corporate rental suites and marina.